So f was ugh, negative x cubed plus 2x squared minus x all over 1 minus x to the fourth. So the first thing I would do, guys, is I can factor out an x as well as factor out a negative. So if I factor out a negative x, that's going to really leave me with an x squared minus 2x plus 1. And again, if you're not sure if I just did that correctly, multiply it back. Make sure if you multiply a negative x times all of those, it makes sense. It works. right? And you can hopefully do that in your head. And you can say, OK, yeah, he did that right. I'm going to rearrange this. And remember, when you rearrange this, um, you can see that, well, if I factored out a negative, I would get a x to the fourth minus 1. right? Actually, I'll just do it here. Um, negative x to the fourth. Oh, when I said I was here, I was going ahead of myself. When you are going ahead and rearranging this, um, then make sure that because this is equal to that. When you go ahead and rearranging it, that um, make sure you keep the signs with the with them. So this is factorable. That's a uh, perfect square trinomial. X minus one um, times x minus one. You could write it as squared, but I think when you're simplifying radicals, it's a little bit or simplifying ex rational expressions, it's easier to. Um, have them just as factored form. Here, if I factor out a negative, that's x to the fourth um, minus 1, right? Which can turn into now, let's see here. Actually, let's go and do that. Do I have room over here? Yeah, so let's actually factor that out. x to the fourth minus 1 is a difference of two squares. x squared minus 1 times x squared plus 1. And then that can be further factored down into x, um, let's see, x squared x minus 1 times x plus 1. All right, so now we have a final negative x times x minus 1 times x minus 1 all over x minus 1 times x plus 1 times x squared plus 1. And therefore, you guys can see my final answer here is a negative x times x minus 1 all over x plus 1 times x squared plus 1, where x cannot equal negative 1 and 1. Right? Yes? Probably, because I forgot about it, right? Yes. So you could have a negative or a negative or make them both. Or you could recognize that you have a negative over negative. So therefore, we could also just make it positive, right? And that's important. If you guys saw that like in your, your final answer on a multiple choice test, it's probably going to be positive, right? So you'd need to recognize that the negative and that negative there divided out or divided to make a positive, OK? Anybody questions have on simplifying? All it really is, guys, it's the same thing.